the Admiral Gugurovich is a class of Russian frigates with all-round capabilities in area air defense, anti-submarine warfare, and anti-shipping strikes. On balance, the class is weighted more towards anti-shipping strikes, but should still be considered as true multi-purpose warships. They are by no means the most advanced frigates design in the Russian Navy, but are still very modern, being built between 2010 and 2015. Starting in 2006, Russia has been constructing the Admiral Gorshkov class frigates, which are intended to be the backbone of the nation's surface fleet for the foreseeable future. They pack a formidable arsenal of advanced weapons that can hit targets in the air, on the surface, and underwater. But the construction process has been delayed pretty severely, owing to problems in the procurement of engines and the development of the weapons to be fitted on board. For this reason, the Russian Navy ordered a new class of frigates in the interim, which are not quite as powerful as the Admiral Gorshkov, but are easier to build and are sufficiently capable as an interim solution. This led to the creation of the Admiral Gugurovich class, a stopgap measure to provide frigates that are urgently needed for the Russian Navy, before its successor can appear in sufficient numbers. The Admiral Gugurovich class, otherwise known as the Project 11356, has the same hull as the Tower class frigates of the Indian Navy, which Russia had built for India in the early 2000s. However, the Admiral Gugurovich uses far more powerful weapons than the Tower class, including a 24-cell vertical launch system for its Chateau 1 surface-to-air missiles, which is a massive improvement over the single-arm SAM launcher on the Tower class. In 2010, the Russian Navy ordered a total of six ships of the Admiral Gugurovich class for commissioning into the Black Sea Fleet. Three ships have been completed and inducted into the Navy by 2017. They are the Admiral Gugurovich, the Admiral Essen, and the Admiral Makarov. The construction of the other three ships has been delayed owing to problems with the engine supply. Previously, Russian warships relied on engines imported from Ukraine. But, the Ukrainian government stopped the supply of engines to Russia following the 2015 Crimean crisis and the deterioration in the relationship between the two countries. Since then, Russia has developed its own marine engines in response. The Russian government has also decided to sell the three unfinished ships of the Admiral Gugurovich class, two of them to India and the other one to an unspecified buyer. In this video, we will focus on the three warships serving in the Russian Navy. The Admiral Gugurovich class displaces around 4,000 tons at full load, with a length of 125 meters and a beam of 15 meters. Propulsion is driven by a combined gas or gas turbine configuration that powers two propeller shafts. For economical cruising, the ship would use its two DS-71 gas turbines, which has low horsepower but is more fuel efficient. For high-speed operation, there are two DT-59 boost gas turbines that can supply a larger amount of horsepower. The maximum speed is 30 knots, and the economical speed is 14 knots. The operational range is fairly respectable at nearly 9,000 kilometers. Total complement is around 200 personnel. The Admiral Gugurovich also incorporates a reasonable degree of stealth features, 
including sloped hulls and a compact superstructure, which will reduce its visibility to radars. That said, it is still not quite as stealthy as some of the contemporary frigates, partly because the top side of the ship is still rather cluttered. Like its distant cousin, the Tower class, the Admiral Gugurovich has eight VLS cells dedicated to anti-ship missiles. The class is arguably strongest in the anti-shipping role. These VLS cells are able to launch the Caliber, the Onyx, or the Zircon cruise missiles, all are considered to be highly effective offensive weapons. The Caliber and the Onyx are supersonic missiles with a sea-skimming trajectory, and both travel at a top speed of Mach 3. They have a range of 500 to 600 kilometers, although it should be noted that beyond 300 kilometers, it will be difficult for the ship's helicopter to locate the target, and the ship will need other surveillance assets, such as airborne radar systems, to provide the targeting coordinates. The land attack variants of these cruise missiles are also available, and these typically have a very long range. On the 7th October 2015, Caliber cruise missiles were launched by Russian warships in the Caspian Sea against targets affiliated with the Islamic State in Syria. These missiles traveled about 1,500 kilometers to hit ISIS forces in the Syrian provinces of Raqqa and Aleppo. Last but not least, the Zircon cruise missile is a new generation of hypersonic weapons with a reported top speed of Mach 9 and a range of up to 1,000 kilometers. This missile won't be sea skimming, but are generally believed to be able to penetrate any existing naval defense systems. Because the three warships of the class serves in the Black Sea Fleet, the ability to support amphibious operations is important. For this purpose, they have a 100mm gun, the AK-190, with a rate of fire of 80 rounds per minute, and a range of over 20 kilometers. This naval gun can be used for shore bombardments and to engage small threats like missile boats. The Admiral Gugurovich has competitive anti-submarine warfare, or ASW, capabilities. To detect submarines, the ship has a MGK-335EM hull-mounted sonar and a towed array sonar system. To attack the submarines, the ship has four 533mm torpedo tubes, arranged in a pair of twin tube launchers, which fires the Type 53 heavyweight torpedoes or the RPK-7 Vita ASW missiles. For close quarters ASW action, there is a single RBU-6000 depth charge rocket launcher. The ship also has a hangar and refueling facilities for a single Ka-27 ASW helicopter, which carries their own sonars for detection, as well as homing torpedoes and ASW guided bombs. Please do watch my video on the Karmov Ka-27 if you want to learn more about one of the best ASW helicopters designed by the former Soviet Union. The Admiral Gugurovich class has a limited degree of area air defense capabilities at a medium range. It is fitted with a 12x2 VLS system for a total of 24 3S-90M surface-to-air missiles, also known as the Chateau 1. They have a range of about 40 kilometers, and the VLS system offers a reasonable rate of fire and a 360-degree angle of interception, 
so the Chatel 1 SAMs are suitable for medium range air defense. However, the Chatel 1 is a fairly old SAM, and the number of SAMs carried by the Admiral Gregorovich is fairly small compared to contemporary European and Chinese frigates. So while the class can serve in the role of fleet air defense, it is arguably not a strong point. The Admiral Gorshkov class frigate is a far better choice for the Russian Navy, as far as air defense is concerned, because the Admiral Gorshkov class have way more advanced SAMs and can carry more of these. The self-defense capability for the Admiral Grigorovich class consists mainly of the two AK-630 closing weapon systems. The AK-630 is a Soviet-designed Sea Wiz originating from the 1970s, so it is old, but still should be quite effective against the subsonic cruise missiles that NATO warships still employ for anti-shipping purposes. There is also a launcher for eight short-range surface-to-air missiles, which are naval versions of the infantry infrared SAMs. Lastly, there are also four PK-10 decoy launchers to fire flare decoys and aluminium shafts. The primary air search radar is a Fregate M2M surveillance radar. It is an E-band two-channel radar with an instrumental range of 300 kilometers. The Fregate M2M can detect a fighter aircraft at a maximum range of 230 kilometers, or a sea skimming cruise missile at a maximum range of 50 kilometers. There is also a Sri TS-25 Garpom B target acquisition radar, which is an I-band radar mainly intended to provide fire control to the ship's cruise missiles. For navigational purposes, there is a MR-212 short-range navigation radar, and a Nucleus 2-6000A navigation radar. Lastly, there is a single fire control radar for the 100mm naval gun, and an unspecified number of the MR-90 OREC fire control radars for the Chateau one surface-to-air missile system. So to recap, the Russian Admiral Grigorovich class is a class of three frigates. They were built between 2010 and 2015 to be an interim solution to the shortage of large warships in the Black Sea Fleet, before the more powerful Admiral Gorshkov class frigates can arrive in sufficient numbers. The Admiral Gugurovich class are large multi-purpose frigates that can fill many different roles, including anti-shipping strikes, anti-submarine warfare, and fleet air defense. On balance, they are probably best in anti-shipping strikes, and are somewhat more lacking as fleet air defense platforms. <laughs>